welcome. Did you enjoy the drumming? Oh, the drumming was fantastic. <laughs> Surprised how much rhythm I thought I actually had. I nice. look up, career consultants go, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> but listen, not everyone can do drumming for a living. Not everyone probably has that passion for what they do. What, what advice would you give to people who, who perhaps don't feel that way? It's amazing. Uh, there's, there was a statistic from the Australasian Institute of Management a couple of years ago saying that 60% of Kiwis, employed Kiwis, hate or dislike their job. That's like 1.1 million people who wow. wake up on Monday and go, ooh. Yeah. You know, and, and for me it's about finding that passion, yeah. finding that passion for what you want to do yeah. and be that person that you want to be. It, it's, it's amazing. So many people just wake up and go, go to work and they live for the weekends. Yeah. But there's another five days that we have as well yeah. to and try they, and live. And they do that future. for years on end. Oh, for, for yeah. their entire life. Yeah. Amazing. But people will say, look, you know, I can't just do what I love because maybe, you know, I need to pay the bills, I've got to pay the mortgage, I've got a family to look after. You know, what can you say to them? Uh, and that is so many people. They really want to go and do something, do something different, reach yeah. their potential, whatever it is, but they're just too too terrified to. And uh, I, I suppose I've got a, a process, um, uh, plan, research, go. And really plan is, is firstly thinking, well, what is it that I want to do? What is it, who do I want to be? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we spend more time planning an overseas holiday or planning our wedding day than we do planning our life or mm -hmm. our career. Uh, so many people and so firstly just really asking family and friends uh, you know what are the things I'm passionate about what are the things I'm good at and start to firstly figure out where you fit and where you know where would be something that you would love so the first step is plan That's and it's it's really I guess what you're saying is it's about actually putting your hand up and saying this is what I want to do absolutely and really just taking some time out of your life yeah. turn off the TV turn off the Xbox whatever it is and saying what is it I want to do? Investing. There's lots of amazing, amazing uh, tools online. There's one called CareerQuest, which is actually a government website. Um, just Google CareerQuest and it'll come up with a, a test you could do. And it sort of gives you, at the end of it, a whole bunch of jobs based on your passions, not what you're good at. And historically, my background psychology and career management, and in the old days, would do it based on what you're good at. A lot of the time what you're good at is not what you're passionate about. Mm, that's an so, interesting yeah, distinction. Yeah, absolutely. And um, so really doing it based on what you're good at, if you're great with numbers, oh, you'd be an accountant. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if being an accountant's not your passion, you're only going to be, you know, you're going to be working your full potential in terms of your job. But if I really believe if you're really passionate about something and you're not so good at it at the start, because you're passionate, over time you will become one of the best in the industry mm -hmm. just because it's something that's genuinely in you and you have that real passion for. So what you're saying is that passion will take you further than skill alone? Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. Because passion, put it, put it this way, let's say you're working in a company and um, you're in a job you don't really like yeah. and you have a 5 out of 10 day. Yeah. Now actually, because you, really, you know, don't really enjoy the company, don't enjoy the industry, you end up having a 3 out of 10 day. Mm -hmm. If you have a 3 out of 10 day, you're actually having a 0 out of 10 day. Yeah. Conversely, if you're operating in your passion, you're doing something you really love, you know, you have a 5 out of 10 day, you're actually having a 7 out of 10 day because you're operating in your passion. That passion gives you that buffer that when the days are a bit tough, a bit hard, not that enjoyable, yeah. working for Greenpeace or working in, you know, working with animals or being an HR consultant, whatever it is, yeah. that will give you that buffer to keep, you know, keep your focus long term yeah. while everyone else sort of drops away. What about the problem that actually by the time you realise that you're having three out of ten days or naught out of ten days, you actually don't have the energy to break out? That's a great question. I think it comes to an end of the day, how much do you want it? Yeah. You know, you can sit down and go, well, um, you know, I'm too tired, I don't have this energy, I don't have that, da 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 da. Yeah. But, I mean, you look at, you look at so many people in this, this world who have managed to break out of really, really terrible circumstances or destitute circumstances because they just stopped and, you know, took some time out. I'm not saying you, you spend $10,000 and go and do a, you know, fantastic, you know, life changing trip. What I'm saying is you take half an hour out and write down a list of 10 things you enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. You know, a bucket list, write a bucket list. Whatever it is, just start to do these things that may take 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you know, pour yourself a big tea or coffee and, uh, you know, just invest and then you'll find over time these little things will start to mount up. Okay, so that's actually a very tangible tip that someone can take home. Take half an hour out, write down 10 things that you, you're good at or you yeah. enjoy.
Brilliant. Thank you so much, Tom. That's awesome. Real pleasure.